so here we have it again engine dismantled I've now put another layer of Hylomar uh, on this block I've got the sealant on the outer edge of the block and then the inner part here is all clean and silver see you can clearly see I've got the blue line on the outer edge and the silver line uh, on the inner edge because you see once I've put the cylinder block on it that sealant will be squeezed into there and there as well so it's going to be spread nicely throughout the whole surface of this block so I've done it the same way all around it and now I'm going to be reinstalling my decompression plate all right then so as you can see the plate has been nicely cleaned from the Hylomar so let's put it on then So yes, having the plate installed now, and now on top of that I'm going to put my brand new base gasket which, as I said before, is going to raise my cylinders by another 0.25-0.3 mm So the compression plate is on, so this is my brand spunk new OEM base gasket which is about 0.3 mm thick, and I'm going to put that on top of the plate. So this is the old base gasket, as you can see, there's plenty of marks and discoloration on it. And I've cut out the inner portion of it, so I'll be able to put it on as a shield towards the, um, the new base gasket, because from my experience, installation of the cylinders is a very painful experience and usually ends up with a maiming of that uh, base gasket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on top of it and now during the installation uh, the new base gasket should be safe and free from damage. So once the cylinders will go on and I'll be able to lower them completely uh, to the gasket. I'm then gonna cut those two ends here Remove that used gasket and just slide the cylinders on Right, so now I'm going to have to cut the original base gasket to get it out and get it out and that, that's going to allow me getting those cylinders finally put on. So have a look, I've got the cylinders pretty much installed. So all I need to do now is just make sure that they grab, they engage with the um, the block and now I'm going to remove those head bolts right and now hopefully the um, 
the gasket will come out. Let's just release it from this dowel pin. Okay. It's got slightly engaged here. So let's just lift those cylinders a bit. Come on. Just come out. Okay, so first half came out. Does the other half come out from the rear? Now, got the cylinders installed. So, next step is going to be assembling this head uh, by putting the shims and also uh, the bucket tappets into those slots. So here's the intake side at the top, exhaust side at the bottom. And as you could probably see, I've got my shims and bucket tuppets arranged here. And they'll go back in the same way they came out. So I'm just making sure every single part gets into the same place. And first you put some oil in there. And then you install the shim with the number facing upwards. That's in. Now let's clean let's clean the bucket nice and clean let's put some oil in there and also on the outer edges let's put it in excellent it sits in now what I'm going to do as well I've got this little diagram here of the intake and exhaust side and I'm going to record all the thicknesses of those shims uh, and that's going to help me to um, deal with um, changing the valve clearance, setting up the valve clearances if they were out of spec at later stage. Here's the next one. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. But it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some a few moments later. Okay, folks, so I'm gonna be installing the cylinder head, and although I've cleaned the surfaces before, I'm gonna use this car cleaner once again make sure it's all degreased completely to minimize the problems with sealing Stop asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get to close Save myself by turning into stone So save the judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Okay And change my ways Even come for bodies In my way and so here I have my brand new GSXR 1100 head gasket. Alright, so let's get this head gasket out. So here we have it, brand spanking new gasket, and you can see the layers there. There's a there's a few layers there in that gasket, and just out of interest, I'll compare it to the used one, and we'll measure the thickness of both. So this is the old gasket. 
compressed one. And that one measures uh, 0.58 of a millimeter. And the new one, uncompressed one, is going to be obviously a lot thicker. Wow. 1.5. <laughs> so obviously a lot thicker. Okay, there we go. So this is going to go in like that. There we go. And once we've got this in, I'm going to put this on those cylinders. Okay, peeps, let's go ahead then. So I'm going to check this uh, cam chain inside for a moment. Uh, I'm going to fish it out later with the magnet, so that's not a big deal. As you can see, I've got the new gasket on. And let's hope I'll be able to nicely put it on without causing any damage. So now some little tappy tap action. All right, and now it's time for the head bolts. <laughs> I've got all my head bolts here, arranged in the same way uh, they came out. So this is the exhaust side, this is the intake side, and I've got my thinner washers there ready. Okay, so before I start dropping those bolts in, um, I'm just gonna inspect them, uh, making sure they're clean, especially the threads. And before I actually put those bolts in, I'm gonna dip uh, the threads in oil. That's a bit excessive actually, but some oil will be needed. Okay, so I'm gonna just drop them in, drop them in. So here's the intake side, and that's with a washer. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you will break your back. All right, so here we have the last one. All right, so first, I'm just gonna get them snug. So at this point, I'm not gonna care about any sequence because I'm not actually talking them up. So just to get them quickly snug, I'm gonna use my gentle, I'm gonna use my gentle electric screwdriver. Okay, so here we have it. They're nice and snug. Obviously to talk it up, I'm gonna have to go with the sequence. And we're gonna be starting from the exhaust side. Uh, bolt number one is this bolt here. Uh, and interestingly, in the service manual for the RF900, it says that uh, you're talking up to 43 uh, Newton meters. However, in GSX-I1100 service manual, it says between 40 and 45. So I could actually go to 45. Uh, I think I'm gonna go 43, 44, uh, to be right in the middle of it. I've got my torque range set up to 20 Newton meters. This is because I'm gonna do it in stages. Firstly, I'm gonna go to um, 20. Secondly, I'm gonna go to 40. And lastly, in third, uh, third step, I'm gonna go 44, maybe 43, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with bolt number one, which is this one here. Newton meters. 
This is my bolt number two. Now here is my bolt number three. And bolt number four. Okay, number five is this one here. Number six is the intake side diagonally position, which is this one here. All right, number seven is going to be the one, the one opposite that, which is the exhaust side here. All right, number eight is going to be the intake side, this one here. That is 20. Number nine is going to be, let's have a look at the diagram, exhaust side outer bolt here. And that is 20. Here's number 10. Here's number 11. And here, obviously, is the number 12. There we go, so that was 20 Newton meters. So the next step, I'm just gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go to 35. So that is 30. 35 newton meters and again the same sequence so starting with uh, this bolt here Okay, so the last stage, I'm just gonna set it up to 44 Newton meters. First bolt here. Okay, so the head is torqued up to 44 newton meters. All right, I've got two more. Um, I've got a screw here and a little nut here. So for now, I'm just going to get it snug because I can't remember what's the torque settings. It's not a lot. It's probably about 12 newton meters or something like that. But I'll just get it nice and snug. And in a moment, I'm going to find in the service manual what actual settings I need for those. Now it's a time to install the camshafts and cam holders. 